Hi, I'm Dr. Mike from Dr. Mike's Math Games for Kids. And this short video is to show you how to use the Easter date worksheets that you can find on my website. To start using the worksheet, you decide what year you want to find Easter in. I'm going to find Easter in the year 2011, so I write that in this box. So what you do, whenever you have a number in a box, you copy it into every box that there's an arrow from. So this 2011, I copy it into here. And I copy it into here. And I copy it into here. And there's another arrow pointing down off the screen, which I'll also copy. Once you can do a calculation, because you've got all the numbers you need, you work it out. So 2011 divided by 100 equals, well, it goes 20 times, and the remainder is 11. Once you've got that, you'll notice there's an arrow pointing out of this box to say to copy this 20 down to some other places. I won't do that right now. I'll work out this. 2011 divided by 4 is 500 and 2, and the remainder is 3. Then I copy this 502 up to this box here. Now this 20 I was looking at before, I can copy that down to here. Now I know that this is 20, this is 20 divided by 4, which is 5, when there's no remainder. 5 remainder 0. That very same 20 actually gets copied to a whole lot of different places. So let me write them all in. There's a 20 here. It also gets copied down here. And it gets copied down here. Then I can... This 5 gets copied down into here. And so I can work out 20 minus 5. That's 15. I can also work out 20 plus 8 is 28. Then the 28 gets copied to here. 28 divided by 25 is 1 and the remainder is 3. The 1 gets copied down to here and so this equation becomes 20 plus 1 minus 1 well that's just 20 again. And then that finally gets copied down to here. 20 divided by 3, the remainder the, is 6 and the remainder is 2. In this box, I have the original year copied down from off the screen, down from the original year to here. I have the year 2011. Now I have to divide that by, oh my goodness, by 19. That's a bit of a trick. You can do that, of course, using long division. I must admit I cheated and used a calculator. And the answer is 105, and the remainder is 16. If I copy that 16 down to here, then we've got some of the information we need to complete this long, complicated sum. The other information comes from here, this 6. 20 divided by 3 is 6, remainder 2. And this arrow is the end of a very long one that comes from up above off the screen, the answer is 15. You can see here we've got a rather long complicated sum to work out. The key to working this out is to remember not just to do everything in order, 15 plus 19 is 34 and so on and so on. You don't do it like that. You remember PEDMAS or BODMAS, whatever mnemonic you've been taught. So first of all, we do all the parentheses. There aren't any. Then we do power or exponentiation. There isn't any. Then we do the multiplication. And there is a multiplication or division. There's 19 times 16. So 19 times 16 turns out to be 304. And then we say 15 plus 304 minus 6 plus 15 and that gives 328. 
And then we can copy that result down to here, 328. 328 divided by 30, that's easy enough. That's 10, and the remainder is 28. Down here, this number was copied from when we divided by 19. When we divided 2011 by 19 and got a remainder of 16. We were supposed to copy that 16 into here. So, if I copy the 28 up here, and I work out 16 divided by 11, is 1 remainder 5, and copy the 1 up here. Now we're ready for one of the bits of the worksheet that actually I like best. This is my favourite bit of this whole worksheet. Here, 28 divide by 28, that's 1, the remainder is 0. Now the 1 gets copied up here, the 0 gets copied here, 1 times 0 is 0, that zero gets copied down here. In the meantime, this one gets copied down here as well. One times one is one, which gets copied here, and one times zero is zero. Anyway, so if you, we, this number is 28, this number gets copied from a square that was zero, this number gets copied from a square that was also zero, and this number gets copied from another square that was 1. So we have 28 subtract 0 plus 0 minus 1. That gives 27. We've got this addition sum on the top to do. 2011 plus 2 is 2013 plus 502 is 2515 minus 15. This was copied from below somewhere. That's 2500. And then that gets copied way down to the last corner of the worksheet. That 27 gets copied to two different places in this worksheet. To here and over here. So we've got 2500 plus 27 now is 2527. Copied down here. And then we need to divide that by 7. When we do that, we find it's exactly 361. The remainder is 0. This 0 gets copied here. And then we say 40. Subtract 0 is still 40. Plus 27 is 67. We're date now. The 67 gets copied here. When we divide by 44, the, remain the quotient is 1. The remainder is 23. That 67 gets added, gets copied up here as well. And the 1 gets copied to two places. And now we're all ready to work out the day and the month of Easter in 2011. 1 plus 3 is 4. So in 2011, Easter was in April. Then 67 Minus 12 is 55. Minus 31 times 1. Remember, multiplication first. 31 times 1 is, is 31. So we've got 67 minus 12 is 55. Minus 31 is 24. And if you check your calendar, sure enough, in 2011... Easter was on the 24th of April, later than it had been in any year since 1943.